Hello, I'm Peter Towers, Managing Director of ESS Bliss Tours. Welcome to the February edition of Business Plus. Thank you for your support of ESS Bliss Tours. In this edition, we have talked about the Reserve Bank's decision to hold the cash rate at 4.35%. And it was interesting to note that in some of the media reports, they were commenting that the Reserve Bank Governor is forecasting that there could be some further rate rises later this year. So your clients still need to be very much aware of interest rates, inflation, and all the challenges that are out there in the marketplace. We continued our series from uh, January on where to get 50%. This is the funds that a business might need if they wish to participate in the industry growth program, which is the government's successor to the Accelerating Commercialization Grant Program. It applies to specific industries, but it's fairly wide, and it's worth looking at if you've got clients who are undertaking innovative work processes in any of those industries to see whether they might be eligible to apply. But they need to have half the money themselves, and that's why we were featuring these comments on where to get the 50% from. In January, we talked about early stage innovation company process. And in this edition, we're talking about crowdsource funding equity raising. So that's what we're looking at there. And hopefully that will give you some leads. As always, I'm suggesting that you read this edition of uh, Business Plus before you send it to your clients and make some notes of which of your clients you think individual articles might be of interest to, and then follow up, make a phone call to them. And let's see what can uh, come from that. Seeking support for innovation, with a big question mark. Because companies now with turnovers under $20 million can, who operate in these priority areas that I was just referring to are eligible to apply. We have listed the priority areas. We did have some of this in the December edition, but since then the government's made some further announcements about the advisors that have been appointed. And on their website, they're indicating there's 19 advisors in various capital cities in Australia. And um, if you want to make contact, uh, I suggest you start. Or if you have any problems with that, send me an email and I'll see what I can find out for you. So there's some information there about how the um, advisors who are there to coordinate between the government, Oz industry, and your client. They will not be doing any of the detailed work. They will be uh, overviewing and making contact with people. I had a similar role at one stage for about 11 years on the Comet program, which was the first of these types of programs that the federal government had ever introduced. And our role was to find people to prepare business plans, budgets, cash flows, etc., and to assist the client to be confident to make an investment presentation for argument's sake and, and give them introductions to uh, angel investor groups and other people that uh, they might not have known about. So that, I think, will be the same role for these advisors. It's well worth making contact with them if uh, you have got some clients who are interested. The big item we have featured in this edition, though, is research and development. It's very important. A lot of money has been spent by uh, a lot of SMEs. And in fact, we refer to the Oz industry estimate that the R&D tax offset for 22-23 will cost the Australian government $2.54 billion. So that's indicating that companies with turnovers under $20 million will spend $5.9 billion. That's a lot of money. How many clients are you acting for who are undertaking research and development? Because there's obviously people out there doing it, a lot of people. And I suspect a lot of them are going to very large companies for assistance. Uh, the package which we've developed in ESS Biz Tools will assist you in going through that journey to assist those clients. So we've looked at it in a couple of different ways. New knowledge creates wealth, it definitely does. And um, it's how some companies can have a fantastic multiplier, go into their valuations, because 
they've developed new technologies. And some of the new stars of the Australian Stock Exchange were undertaking research and development at the very beginning. In fact, there's been some recent very interesting articles in the Financial Review about the amount of money that's still being spent on research and development by companies that uh, appear to be very successful. Some of them are not making much money yet, but they're getting ready for the future. So in the story for your clients, we're saying it all starts with an idea. And where do they go to from that idea to make it worth some money? And uh, a lot of that's in research and development. But record keeping is very important. And that's why we've emphasized that in the heading idea, record keeping is important because all of this information has to be properly documented. So that is, what was the, the objective? Uh, what was the hypothesis that was selected? What was the results of the experiments? When were they conducted? Who conducted them? How long did it take? What were the results? All that needs to be documented. And in the system which you've got access to, there are forms for all of that information to be recorded so that the company has it in case they're called upon to support the claim they're making in a tax audit. We also talk uh, about the advanced finding application. You can do that. Your client can apply in advance and the approval can be for up to three years that the tax office and Oz industry have given an approval for a particular process that that will meet the requirements of the research and development rules. If any of your clients are wanting to undertake work overseas, beware. It is very difficult to get approval from the tax office. And there is a form that has to be completed called the overseas findings application. So talk to your clients about that. And they need to lodge a return on the overseas finding application prior to the 30th of June in the year in which they're undertaking that expenditure. But they really need to be able to quantify why they're undertaking work overseas. We also have another heading action to claim R&D, which talks about the companies with turnovers over $20 million. And I know some of you have got those companies. It's a different R&D regime. There's no uh, refund of uh, the R&D uh, rebate amount that's available to a company with a turnover under $20 million that's trading at a loss. That doesn't apply to the turnovers over $20 million. And there's a different process where we talk about the research and development intensity. So it's worth looking at for those uh, larger clients. So that's our overview of Business Plus for the month of February. And uh, if you have any questions, comments or criticisms, please contact me. Thank you for your support of ESS Pistols, and I look forward to talking to you again about Business Plus in March. Stay safe. Have a great day. Goodbye.